SQL course is now live on codebasics.io. Before I tell you how did I grow older, let me fix it. I'm going to talk about a common issue that people face when they buy any course from any e-learning website. That problem is they leave the course in between. Tell me how many courses you have bought online and left in between because learning technology is boring. I myself have left many courses in between because learning technology is boring. We have tried to incorporate movie-like cinematic experiences in our course and we are trying to address that problem so that learning technology seems like fun as if you are watching a movie. In this course, we will also give you project-based learning that mimics real industry scenarios and industry-like experience. Without talking further, let me show you what we have covered in the course. On codebasics.io, when you click on courses button or scroll down, you will see SQL course here. And when you click on buy now button or whatever blue button that you see here, you will be taken to the course page. Here is the course page where we are starting the course with the overview. By the way, anyone can take this course. There is no prerequisite, nothing. We will start with how learning SQL can help you in your career. So we talk about three different roles, data analyst, data engineer, data scientist. It is useful for all the roles. And then we talk about Peter Pandey, who is an imaginary character. He became a most wanted data scientist. Okay. And then it's year 2058 or something and he's being interviewed. So let me play this video clip and then I'm going to talk about all the concepts and everything that we have covered. Okay. But let me just show you this fun clip. You'll like it for sure. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Oh my God. Is it real? I will be there. Sure. I spent 10 years to find you to get one interview. Finally, here I am. I have so much to ask you. Well, we can start. So, Mr. Peter Pandey, why now? I tried for the last 10 years. <coughs> I needed to stay low on a different mission. But now I want to resume sharing my knowledge with the world. So tell me, how did you become the most wanted data scientist in the world? Is it true that you are an alien? Is it true that you and Satoshi were classmates? Tell me, every nation wants to know. What do they want to know? Everything. Movies. I wanted to direct movies. That's where it all started. Tell me more. All right, so this is Peter's story. And uh, we start with Peter Pandey's early life, how he learned SQL. You know, he came to Mumbai, he wanted to direct movies. So you can play this video. Some of these videos are free, by the way. And then we are doing storytelling as if you are Peter Pandey and you are learning SQL along with Peter. Okay, so since he wanted to build a career in movies, we start with movies data set. So when you want to learn something, if you start with a data set that you're passionate about, obviously you can learn things in a better way. So we then teach you basic SQL queries, data import, etc. using uh, movies database, right? So see here, I have an SQL editor open where I talk about select, where, distinct, all those things. And then, we have a lot of exercises. So we give you exercises, you practice it, then you can click on download files to download the solution. So this way we cover all the SQL basics and periodically we will have a glimpse of Peter's life, 
how he's learning SQL through movies database, and then how he's making progress until he gets a job and becomes a successful data scientist. So this journey is mimicking your personal career where you can follow the similar journey and build a great career in data industry. There will be chapter level quizzes as well, which will help you practice the concepts you learn from that chapter. Then we talk about multiple tables like the joins, cross joins, analytics on the tables. Again, we have a lot of exercises and quizzes. Then we talk about sub queries, CTEs. You know, they ask a lot of interview questions on CTE, window functions. We have covered all of that. Again, Peter Pandey's live glimpse on, on the status of his SQL skills. Then we talk about database creation. We talk about all the important concepts like data normalization, data integrity, you know, entity relationship diagram. For example, here we create entity relationship diagram in uh, MySQL. So in MySQL uh, workbench, we create that. And from ERD, we create a database. Then we cover all the basic concepts like primary key, foreign key, importing data from CSV, etc. Now we move to a very interesting part of the course, which is project-based learning that mimics industry style experience. So you will get a feeling from chapter seven, you will get a feeling as if you are hired in a company as a SQL data analyst or data scientist. And you know how the life will be when you get a job. So first we talk about the problem statement, which is the rise of databases in Atlic. Again, this is a movie like cinematic scene. We have made a video on YouTube as well, which is the trailer for this course. I'm going to link that video so you can watch it. But let me just show you a part of the year. 2007, world faced the global recession where stock market crumbled. Also crumbled the dreams of Bruce Hayali, a stock market genius who was on a mission to become. So just to give you an idea, Bruce is the owner of Atlic Hardware. They are selling computer peripherals and they are facing data transparency issues and they, are, they have onboarded MySQL and you are hired, you meaning Peter Pandey is hired as a data analyst and you are helping Bruce and Atlic Hardware bring the data transparency in the company. We talk about relational versus no SQL, you know, Atlic Hardware's business model. So here you are learning a lot of business concepts on consumer goods industry. Domain knowledge is quite important if you want to build a career in data industry. Then profit and loss statement, you know how PNL works, what is net sales, what is net invoice discount, what is cost of goods sold. We are teaching all these important concepts in this video. Then we talk about ETL data warehouse, fact dimension table. In terms of data, we have used a database that mimics a real life situation. It has 1.4 million records. So it's a real database. This kind of database you will find when you work for a big company. Okay, so this is not like a toy data set. The movies database that we used previously to teach you simple concept was a toy data set. But this data set after chapter seven is serious. You are getting into serious learning one and a half million records and you are doing some advanced analytics. We also talk about Kanban, see? We don't just teach you MySQL, we teach you project management methodologies as well. So we talk about how people use Kanban in the industry and who are like different characters. So you have your product owner, you have your, let me show you. So Vanda Mishra is a product owner in this. So we have different career roles and we are using out of all the available softwares, we are using Jira here for our Kanban project management. And then we start on financial analytics. So in the financial analytics, we'll do a backlog grooming meeting, right? See, when I was at Bloomberg, we used to do this backlog grooming meeting. So when you attend this meeting, you are getting a glimpse of how people do requirement gathering and requirement fine tuning in these meetings. And we are also creating all this Jira task on which you or Peter Pandey is doing all the work. So they work on creating user defined SQL function. Okay, so this is just a usual technical video. 
let's say you are given this jira task when you get a job in the industry you will be given this task okay and then how do you build user defined sql function how do you create a store procedure for example here we are creating monthly uh, gross sales report using a stored procedure the benefits of stored procedure and so on then we move on to the top customer and top market analytics where we talk about problem statement then we cover performance improvement uh, to some extent we introduce database views exercises then in between you will see this career tips because i worked in data industry for more than 15 years and i was interviewing in my company bloomberg i have my own company athletic technologies so uh we we work on the real client projects so we talk about some important skills uh, that can help you when you're working on real client projects we cover window function you know five ways sql is used in the industry this is very important there are five various ways where sql is used in the industry so we have covered that then we move to supply chain analytics trigger events helper table user account and privileges all of that and then finally you have this particular final quiz and you work on that quiz and you will get a certificate if you need any help you can discuss on discord and the discord server is basically it's like a slack channel where you can post a question and you will uh, get an answer from the community now this is a bonus feature folks understand the course is only 900 rupees or if you are in us it is 15 dollar the kind of content that you are getting the course is already hugely discounted okay so and on top of that the support on discord is totally additional feature so we believe in helping people with their question so you will usually get an answer in a day or two if you post a question so i wish you all the best uh i will encourage that you check our course page the link is in video description below also all these videos where you see free tag they are free to watch okay so you can watch them before buying the course the course is excellent for total beginners and if you are you know sql and if you want to learn advanced concept then also this course is perfect okay so it is good for both beginners and advanced users the course is mainly designed for data career aspirants people who want to become data analyst data engineer data scientist but if you want to become software engineer then also you will find this course to be very very useful i wish you all the best if you have any question post in our video comments below Thank you.